Uh, while Tristan's wrist has discovered the hyena den potentially of Gwen, we've just had another visitor who is actually giving me grey hairs at the moment. Good thing Hosanna saw this hyena coming long ago and is now up in the top of the worst possible tree he could be in, but he is perfectly safe from this hyena. Hello, hyena. Oh. Galloping around here. Oh, having a good roll. Maybe Hosanna and urinated or defecated there. <laughs> oh, is that nice? Is that nice? Having a jolly good rub. I'd really would have preferred if you didn't send the injured cub up into the tallest possible thorn tree with your arrival. I don't think that this hyena knew that they were here though. He just happened to be wandering around. <laughs> Back scratch. Here we go, now that you're all filthy. <laughs> they are truly comical creatures. And I'm off again. I'm off. I'm off on an adventure. I'm going towards Shungile now. Shungile's in the top of the giant boar bean that is that we've often seen them in. He's just Oh, bless you. Did you get some dirt up your nose by any chance? I just want to see whether or not it goes towards... No, he's going to miss Shungile completely. I don't think that he saw or smelt her. It's chaos this morning. It's all happening. Our Shungile's up in a boar bean tree, which is a very comfortable tree. Hosanna, on the other hand, is not. He's in a knob thorn tree, which is not... <coughs> a very comfortable tree at all and it's such a pity because there was a perfect tambour tea right next to it that he could have gone into without thorns but in instead he has found himself perched right at the top of the knob thorn so i'm not going to follow our hyena i'm going to stick with our leopard cubs hassan is actually giving me gray hairs watching him at the top of this tree because he's gone all the way up now i don't know how he's going to get down i don't think it's going to be a very comfortable descent i'm sure he's fine and I noticed that after a little bit of play with Shungile, his leg was looking much better. So I think he just stretched it out, warmed it up a little bit. Now what? Oh, a day in the life of a leopard cub. One minute you have to give up your comfortable sleeping spot to your sister. The next you're up in a thorn tree because a hyena came walking past. I suppose it's a good thing that his sister came and woke him up. Otherwise, that hyena might have succeeded in surprising him. Now what? Oh dear. Uh, I know that many of you are wondering with Hosanna's sore foot whether or not he is more at risk of being caught by a hyena or something like that. I don't think his injury is too serious. We've seen, as we, we've often seen, far worse on leopards. Tingana, for example, had a terrible limb for a long time. And when push comes to shove, you'll find that they're able to push past it if they really need to. I just wish he hadn't picked such an uncomfortable tree to have to try and climb down, because let's face it, Hosanna hasn't shown the best tree climbing skills in the world up until now. Uh, he has a tendency to fall. So add in a couple of thorns and you've really got an awkward situation, although hopefully he's going to just be very careful as he goes down. So he is, um, obviously any kind of an injury does place a a cat more at risk but I'm not too concerned about him I just want to see that he does this descent oh those thorns no wonder you've got a sore foot you silly shame mom help ow oh Hosanna Luckily, you've got a furry coat. Ouch. I know exactly what it's like to be attacked by knob thorns, and it's not pleasant. At all. 
dear. Now you've got to get your legs on the other side of that branch. That's it. There we go. Slowly, slowly. Okay, now what? Yes, eat the tree. That will help. Yep. Tell you what, you pluck away each thorn and then walk down. That will definitely help. Oh, shame. Now, he's up a tree for a very, very good reason, so it's not actually his fault that he's up this knob thorn tree, which is the most inappropriate tree he could possibly be in. Zaz, you want to know if a hyena will kill a leopard? Yes, absolutely they will if they can get hold of them, especially a leopard <gasps> cub. Sorry, that was a gut reaction there. Um, yes, they will, and they absolutely can, and they do, they do kill leopard cubs. Oh, Sana. Are you going to pay for the boxes of hair dye to cover the grey hairs? No, you're not, are you? Oh, shame. You're so woebegone. At this age, these little leopard cubs could probably give a put up a very, very good fight. They're very strong, but they're unfortunately not quite a match for a hyena. Fortunately, they are faster, much, much faster and more agile, even with an injured foot which is why they've survived as long as they have. And they're, all, they're at that stage now in their lives where their chances of survival dramatically increase. So once, you, once they get to their adult stage, you actually find that there's a, an almost truce between leopards and hyenas. And it's not uncommon, as if it could get any worse, the, the, the wood hoopers are now laughing at him. Oh, poor Sana.